Tony at CF Reviews coming at you with my first video review. Today we'll be looking at Reveal the Shield Bumblebee. We got Bumblebee in his cruiser mode, uh, which is actually uh, inspired by the Honda Civic hatchback with a few aftermarket parts and the Wave Crusher trailer. So, yeah. Very nice vehicle on that. In the movie paint scheme, the yellow is a little bit more of an orange this time around. Got black racing stripes down the hood, down the back, to about the spoiler. Got red tail lights. Got this greenish teal blue headlights. All yellow there at the bottom. Silver grill. Wish they would have painted it down here. That's kind of annoying. Silver painted rims and silver painted seats. Well, some s silver around the trim. Just black in the middle for the padding of the seats. And if you choose to, you can take off the spoiler, which gives it kind of a regular car look, which I don't really like, so we'll keep that on. Wave right Crusher trailer. And just set that over there. Bumblebee looks better like this. For a size comparison, we'll bring in the Henke Hound figure. So, see, he's a little bit small for a deluxe as far as height goes, but other than that, he's about the same size as Hound, which also is kind of small for a deluxe. Look really good together. Get him out of the way. And. I'm not going to go over the packaging, I'm just going to go over the figure. Uh, transformation, you'll want to bring the this panel up. want to bring down these doors. This arm here is a bit loose, I'll have to fix that with some super glue or something. Bring this one down. Rotate the wheel out and around. Out and around. Bring up the arms for now, just to get them out of the way. Bring down this whole back of the car, this whole bottom part of the car. And if you can hear it, it'll soft tab into place. Then you want to open up these, open up the hood, bring down the seats. Bring this down and around. There you've got his legs. You want to bring this arm around. Just like that. Bring this around, up and around. Peg goes into the hole. Round. Peg into the hole. If I can get it in there. Oops. There we go. Bring down the roof and windshield of the car. And then all you gotta do is flip this piece around. Reveal his head, bring his head down into place. There you've got Bumblebee in his robot mode. Very nice looking figure overall. A lot of the G1 aesthetics, like the arms becoming the doors, feet becoming the front of the car, back of the car, back of the robot. Yeah, very, very good head sculpt, if I can catch her on camera here. Very G1 like. We've got the blue eyes, blue... I'm not sure what that is. I think it's like a head crest. You can get the molded on horns. And I do not know why they've got blue here. This should be probably black or probably just yellow. But it does look cool. And of course it is Reveal the Shield, so... I'm gonna rub that and... Reveal the Shield. Which this one's kinda off-center from the actual part of the sticker. But, yeah, he's an Autobot. Who would have known that this guy was an Autobot? And he comes with the... The trailer comes a jetpack. Just bring these out. Like that. And you want to have this part facing down. So it'll be down like that. And you'll want to rotate these around. And there's a little tab right there. Going to a slot right there on his back. 
and you can adjust these however you want. It's kind of a thrust vector or thrust alignment. I'm not sure what you would call that. Look, there you've got his jet pack, which I don't really like, so we'll just take that off and toss it over. And now for a size comparison. And thanks to the magic of the pause button, here we have Henke Hound next to Bumblebee as a size comparison. So you can see that. Just as it should be, Bumblebee is the smallest of the Autobots. It's this, just like a head smaller than Hound, which pretty accurate if you ask me. But you probably won't, but still, pretty accurate if you, yeah. So we'll get him out of the way. Now we'll focus on articulation first. We got ball jointed elbows, rotate 300 degrees, bend at 90 degrees. Arms rotate 206 degrees on the ball joint and come out to here. Heads on the ball joint so you can have them look straight up. From side to side. Pretty much it because part of the vehicle mode hinders right here. Legs on a ball joint but it's hindered all, almost all the way around so you get 360 all the way around if you move this out of the way. In and out. And it rotates a little bit, rotates here at the thigh, or at the knee, Bend, bends at the knee, and if you want I guess you can count this as ankle articulation, it's only mainly for transformation, so other than that, well, that's pretty much Bumblebee for you, so this is Dalton News TF Reviews, signing off. Transformers!